Hey, Ty. Why, good evening or afternoon. Fancy good meeting morning. you here again. Fancy meeting you here. Yes. What are we doing so, today, Papa? Well, today we're going to take a look at the uh, the Ledger Nano S hardware no. wallet device, the, the, the favorite of men, women, and replicants alike, based on our <laughs> replicants. intro. Replicants. Yes. All right, one thing I'm going to suggest before we get going. After our last video, which Papa did amazingly uh, awesome on, and so much detail, oh, thank and lots you. of people, lots of people came. How do we do this? How do we do that? Because they didn't watch the video to the end. Huh? So watch the video to the end, please. Yeah, we don't Come want on, a lot of people saying, "I got this problem. Can you help me out?" And then the yeah. first thing we ask is. Well, that was answered later in the video, and then it comes to light that, well, I didn't watch the whole thing. So yeah. please, please watch the entire content of the video, and then if you have any questions, concerns, or feedback, we would love to hear from you. Yep. Otherwise, otherwise, you're going to get this. Konnichiwa! So. Nobody wants a konnichiwa in anger. <laughs> um, so yes, we're going to be, I'll just pop this up. There it is there. It's going to uh, make Hi, some appearances. So we're going to be running a Ledger Nano S. And this one is actually five years old. Has not missed a beat. Aw. So it will come back later. See you later, Ledger Cam. Okay, so today, first thing we're going to do is uh, everything is wiped. So it's like new. Yep. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go through... Uh, we're not going to we're not going to go through this. We're just going to bring it to your attention. Um, scammers are mailing fake ledger devices mm -hmm. to steal your cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. So they're fake. There's been no hack like people are suggesting ledgers have been hacked. This is a scam. They've made knockoffs. Um, so we're, we're not going to go through it. We're just giving you a brief overview. Yeah, we'll um, cover this in our Ledger Nano X video because it's a reverse engineering yeah. hack that was, uh, you know, they, they made use of the 270,000 uh, person strong mailing list that had the all the, the mailing lists uh, for any of the previous customers. The customer database was was released accidentally. Yep. And uh, and that uh, stemmed mm -hmm. a, uh, yep. an attack that had the, they, somebody shucked the Nano X stuff, but we'll get yeah. into that next time. Moral of the story is they make fake hardware devices, treasures, yep. ledgers, and I'm not going to name all the other crap brands. Everything gets knocked off. Everything gets copied. You buy from ledger.com or treasure.io. End of story. Okay. So ledger.com. This is where you're going to go to download the software. Uh, the the uh, downloads and then you can download the version of your choice you want to download the desktop version you know we don't like to use mm -hmm. uh, mobile devices for crypto right and the name so of the this desktop, software the name of this app is ledger live ledger ledger live correct so you're going to download this you're going to install it we're not going to show you how to do that today it's very easy i know papa did his i'm not going to do it uh, I don't think we need to show you how to install the software. So you're going to do that, and then you're going to come back. Is MetaMask.io. Now we will put the official links to the downloads, including the download link, so you can actually be super lazy if you want and just click on that and get the appropriate uh, to the appropriate address you need. Um, but for today, I'm actually going to download um, MetaMask because we're starting yep. fresh. So we're at MetaMask, uh, IO, here it is here, 10 million users, you know you're on the right one. Do not download a dodgy offer by MetaMask.io. Add to Chrome. Add extension. A few moments later, this one. Um, so we're at a screen where it says new to MetaMask. No, I already have a secret recovery phase or yes, let's get set up. This will create a new wallet and secret recovery phrase. So for this particular video, I'm going to set up a new wallet initially just to generate the 12 seeds 
that then we're going to write down and then they're the seeds we're going to migrate from MetaMask to the ledger. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go create. Bit of, bit of information, I agree. Now we have to set up a password. So for today's one, I'm just going to make it super simple and I recommend you make something that's not so simple. Okay, put in a password. It's now creating the wallet. And then it gives you a lovely video, which you can go watch so you understand. Uh, and gives you some explanations down the side here. So you're new to MetaMask, have a read. Don't just click through everything. Have a quick read. I don't like to read. Readings for nerds. Right, right. Security recovery phrase. Your secret recovery phrase makes it easy to back up and restore your account. Warning. Never disclose your secret recovery phrase. Anyone with the phrase can take uh, your ether forever. So, and then it has some tips over here. Store this phrase in a password manager like one password. No. So now you, you'll see you'll see kind of the, this this obscured. Um, it says reveal secret words. This, this, this obscured box. Uh, take out a penny, and I want you to scrape off the silver protective. Uh, obscuring uh, agent on the screen and it'll reveal the words. So scrape on your screen really hard to reveal those words. There you go. So these are the 12 words for generating the uh, soft wallet, MetaMask wallet. So I'm gonna very carefully uh, put some numbers down on paper, one to 12, and then we're gonna put these onto that piece of paper left to right, one, two, three, four, and so on, okay? So I'm just gonna Write those down. Okay, that's the 12 words. Um, and then we're gonna go next. And now it wants us to confirm that we did our job correctly and wrote down the words in the correct order. And that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do now. So we're gonna start with number one, which is chaos. Number two, which is ceiling. Number three, which is endless. Number four is priority. Five is way. Six is napkin, seven is ginger, eight is board, nine is aware, 10 is fresh, 11 is sorry. It's okay, sorry. Tony. And then decide. And if you think you've got it right, hit confirm. Yay, congratulations. Yay. Hey. Uh, and here's some more tips. Never share your phrase, blah, blah, blah. Please read all this. If, you're, if, you, if you have a bad memory, maybe write it down. Maybe take a screenshot of some of the tips. Um, don't just flick through here and hit all done and then come in going, I didn't know, I didn't understand. Just take a couple of minutes to secure your wealth and be your own bank. It's pretty simple. Now, the address that we've created is set up and Here's the address here. It ends in zero X. Oh, imagine if that was 420 pupper instead of 520. Oh man, so close. Damn. And now uh, we have, uh, what is that? F1, F5? We're, we're getting old. old. I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's F1, F5. Anyway, we're writing down just the, the ones we can see. Um, so when we uh, get to a step later on, um, we're gonna know which wallet we, we, we want to migrate. So when you set up a MetaMask wallet, by default, it becomes account one. FYI, we're never going to use account one ever, no matter what. It's just going to be, for all intensive purposes, a dummy wallet, no matter what instance you're running. Uh, if you remove one, put one in. When you're using a hardware wallet, whether it's a, Meta, uh, a Ledger or a Trezor, the wallet you're gonna be using once you connect it over here, is going to be Ledger 1 or Trezor 1. You're never actually going to use Account 1. Okay, now that we've created this uh, wallet, we're going to actually... Uh, we're going to move on to the hardware wallet itself and introduce through a uh, advanced recovery method that is secure, the seeds into the wallet. So it will correct. effectively migrate the seeds and all of the accounts over with the seed to the wallet, hardware wallet. Right. But now we're going to introduce right. our friend, the uh, the Ledger Nano S. Ledger Cat. Hi, Ledger. 
We'll let the ledger steal the show, shall we? So, we have our new device. Excuse my fingers. And let me try and set. So, it, it, when you turn it on, it, it comes to, welcome to Legend Nano S. Can we read this, Papa? Just tell me if it ever gets out of Yep, skew. yep, can see, yep. Cool, awesome. And then uh, press left or right buttons to navigate. Press both buttons to validate. Get started with ledger.com slash start. Set up a new device. Is that what we want to do? Or restore from a recovery phrase? Restore. Reminder, press to both to validate. So what are we doing today, Papa? We're doing a restore from recovery phrase. So we're going to press both buttons here. Choose a pin. So we, have, we, we need to put in a pin. Today I'm just going to keep it simple and we're going to go uh, one, press both buttons. We're going to go two. Don't use this code, by the way. Th three, four. Let's just keep it at four. I recommend using them all. Um, now we have to put it in again to confirm it. Recovery phrase. How many words do we use today, Papa? There are 12 because uh, all uh, MetaMask seeds are 12 words long. Cool story, bro. Okay, so now we're going to enter the words. And <clears throat> I, I'm going to show you how to do one. And then we're going to actually edit out the rest and come back because that would right. just be... Right. We, are not, be we are not typing these on the PC. We no. are entering them in directly into the actual device. It is a bit of a pain of a process. However, it is a secure process that ensures that you're not, um, you're not compromising your seeds by entering them into a keyboard, which is something that we try to preach. So it's asking for word one, and I have to put in the first letter. So excuse me, because I'm doing this from behind something else so we can have the shot. So if you recall, when we did this, the first word was chaos. Oop. And once you get to the first three letters, because only the first four letters are valid on any given, uh, so, any given uh, word from a seed, then yeah. it'll guess the word and it'll come up chaos. You don't well, have to it, put and it actually thing. starts. It actually starts shortening the letters that you get to choose from as you go too, right? Right. Right. So. Word one or clear word? We're going to go with word one because there's only one possible choice for this word. Now we're up to word two. And ceiling. So we don't need to tell anyone about the rest, Papa. We're just going to get it done. Yep. And we can jump ahead. Ceiling. You Look get at the, that. Yeah, there you go. You get the idea, and you have folks. To put in, and you have to put in two letters, Papa. Processing. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Do we win a prize? Your device is now ready. So what we have just done now is we have taken the 12 words that we generated online and we've written them down on paper. We've got a ledger that we restored or got brand new and we told it to recover, we wanted to recover and we put the 12 words into that ledger. So they're now in there and the ledger is set up as per what you've just seen. Excellent. What are we doing we, next, Papa? Well, we can, well, first of all, you want to confirm if you've got a balance of any kind, you've got a little bit of dust of ETH for gas on that, on that account, you may want to get back into ledger live and confirm that you can see that, that, that balance. And if you have, you can double, you basically double confirm that you've got that migration successfully done okay why won't you install an app never had that before i might have to just close down ledger live and open it up because that yep. is uh well never seen that before <laughs> do you have the latest firmware well, you have to go to manager to do all that stuff. Right. Yeah. I've never, never seen it. Um, never seen it do that. So basically what happened there was is 
after we did the migration, we tried to uh, open the manager to add the applications and it gave us errors. So to fix that, I actually closed down Ledger Live and I disconnected the device and then I simply opened Ledger Live and reconnected the device. You mainly have to do the disconnection of the device, but we did both. So now we've been able to access the manager and now we're going to install Ethereum. And now there it is go. installed. So now that the Ethereum app is installed, which is the only one we need to do for this particular demo, but if you do use other chains like Binance Smart Chain, I recommend installing it because for certain interactions, you will need to open that app instead of the Ethereum app. But for today, we're just, we're not gonna bog you down in that. This is simply a migration video and a little bit of user interface uh, awareness with Ledger Live. So now we're gonna go to accounts and ignore all my other accounts. We're going to add an account. And we're going to choose Ethereum. Continue. Open Ethereum app. Yes. It's synchronizing and having a look on the uh, device. Okay, so add new account. At this point, you can actually name this account whatever you like. So if it's, say, Pulse X sacrifice or the Pulse Chain sacrifice, and you wanted it to be specific to something, something that means something to you, you can name it that. Add account. Account added successfully. Done. So let's go and find this account, Papa. Here mm -hmm. it is here. Let's click on it. How can you tell that that's the account? Well, we're going to have a look by going to receive. Very good. And Ethereum 1. Now, at this point here, you can even, without approving, you could say don't have your device and it will show you the number. It's asking me to approve it, which I will. And as you can see, it ends in the z it starts in the 0x520, not 420, bit of a shame, but 520, and ends in F1, F5. And we're going to verify that. Click here. You can see that it's, it's verifying the address on the screen, 0x520, mm -hmm. and it ends in F1, F5. If we're happy, approve. So we know we've got the right address. It's in there. That step is now done and the account is successfully not only on the device, but in the portfolio for viewing on here and for simple sends and receives and those type of things if you wanted to do that uh, through Ledger Live, but we're not here for that today. Okay, Papa, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do now? Yep, the and next thing we that we gotta do off. is we have to uninstall and reinstall MetaMask. Now that we know that the Migration was successful. We've double checked that through Ledger Live. We should uninstall and reinstall MetaMask. Why? Because MetaMask will not allow, nor should you ever have your seeds in two places at once. The same seed running on two devices, one on MetaMask and the other on the hardware wallet that are the same. You have to uninstall MetaMask, wipe it clean, reinstall it, generate a brand new set of 12 words, brand new wallet, and then you'll be able to connect up the migrated wallet. If I do that, is it showing you what you need or is it all weird? No, it's it's good. So you're not getting all those extra, extra screens now? Not anymore. And you can see MetaMask up the top here? Yes. Awesome. So what we're going to do now, as Papa said, we're going to... Actually, MetaMask is hidden behind the logo, so just to call that out. MetaMask is hidden behind H Hidden the behind logo. the Magic Carpet Red logo. Ah. That's up here? Up right, yep, yep. Okay, so the, it's up here in the browser. Um, if you can't see it, there's a, little, um, there's a little jigsaw puzzle. You can open that and then you can pin them or not pin them. When they're pinned, you'll be able to see your extensions. Mm -hmm. Some people like to leave it unpinned. So if someone does happen to find their computer, it doesn't draw their attention to the, to the little fox. And some people like to see Foxy Fox whenever they start their day. He's there smiling so, for you. Correct. So now that we're comfortable that we've migrated this wallet to the ledger, we're going to remove it from Chrome. Correct, Papa? That's right. Cool story. And we're going to go back to 
metamask.io and we're going to download mm -hmm. install metamask for chrome and this is a bit of a rinse and repeat from what we did before mm -hmm. oh, six so add to chrome and it's now done it you can remove it from this point or we can simply just um, uh, come up to the little puzzle piece for this I'm going to pin it because it just makes it easier mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's loading it isn't it what you're doing yes we can remove this we can remove this okay so now we're going to do exactly what we did before which is get started what are we doing this time Papa this time we are going to create a wallet yet again. Cool. Same screen as before. Have a read if you didn't remember and hit agree. New password. Make sure you get it right. Write it down. And part of that process in creating. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's some videos. Same stuff as before. What is the security phase? Have a look through that stuff if you're unfamiliar. Next. Papa, what are we doing? We scratch and sniff. Is that what scratch we're doing? Scratch and sniff. Yep. Scratch and sniff cool. it off. Ready to go. And reveal. Are you so, ready? Yep. Silly. Silly. One. And take and your time, guys and girls. Write yep. these down thoroughly, neatly. Yep. Um, Safe. There's no rush. Bright. And glory. And now we're going to take the test. Silly. One. Whale must announce fiction oil carry absurd safe bright and all for the glory. Congratulations! Yeah, you've done it twice again. in one day correctly. Woo. Do I win anything? Do I win a Mars bar? You win a free wallet. Cool. So now you will notice we have a new account one with a new uh, address. Unfortunately, not 0x420. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a new address and this is our official dummy wallet. We're not actually going to use it. It's mm -hmm. a user you write interface. That down. Make that note on on your backup that you wrote down those twelve words from your seed, your current seed. Write down "dummy" so you don't forget. Yep. Hold on to all seeds that you create always. Uh, you may not etch this one into metal because it's of no consequence in case you have to do it again, or you lose it. You can always, you know, create a brand new dummy wallet very easily. The seeds that you have to back up are the ones that you've migrated to your hardware wallet or have begun on your hardware wallet. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add our little friend back in. We're going to go back here. Yep. Now, is it displaying uh, now, okay? Now, Ty, yeah. Ty, there are nuances that you have to be, you know, pay attention to on the ledger. Um, one of them is before you do this connection between ledger and MetaMask, you have to do something special on the Ethereum wallet you have to go into the settings and you have to make sure that something is enabled. What do you think? Yeah, we can do that, but I don't believe you have to do that for this process. I think it's just to interact with the smart contract. Might as well do it now. But we can this. So what Papa is talking about is within the apps and we've only installed Ethereum. So we, we have Ethereum, which is in the center. Double click, application is ready. Quit, we go to settings, blind signing not enabled. Can you read that? So we're simply gonna go, uh, enabled by double clicking. So blind signing is now enabled and we're simply going to go back out. That is it. Whoop. Okay, so now that that's done, so now Papa, the next stage, we're going to what? Go, go click on that big round button in the upper right hand corner of MetaMask interface. And you're going to scroll down and select connect 
hardware wallet. And today we're going to connect a ledger. Mm -hmm. And it says plug in your ledger wallet, connect directly to the computer, uh, unlock your ledger and open the Ethereum app. This is important because some people just go straight down to the big blue the big blue button, they're like, oh, Ledger, and they scroll down here and they click the, the Go button, but they didn't read this part where it says, unlock your Ledger and open the Ethereum app, and then they, they come into Pulse Chain Chat or PulseX Chat. I click the Ledger and it won't let me actually do the next, it, it won't do anything when I do the next step. It's because you didn't do this step. Yeah. So now it brings up a choice. So you, hot, you click on the choice and it allow you to connect. Oh, and now we're presented with a whole lot of addresses. Mm, but one of them looks familiar to me. How about you? It does. Yep. And that would be number one. Usually it is number one. You can keep it simple and begin with number one most of the time. Correct. So we're going to unlock that account. So now you'll see... We're, we're back in MetaMask. However, this time it says Ledger 1. And if you look at the address 0x520 F1F5, that is the address that we have migrated to our hardware wallet. Simples. So, now back you've, up now here. You've done, but, yep, account by one. The way. Sorry, Papa, go. No, I'm, I'm saying that the, the, this, this is the final proof positive that you've done a successful migration is that you've wiped metamask you've reinstalled it you've created a brand new wallet you haven't had a uh, account one when you tried to connect it it's not grayed out and now it's connected and the name up at the top the account name is now ledger one so that means that you've done it correctly you double check the address the first four and last four digits in the uh the address uh yep. public address and you're good to go Sure. Just a couple of brief things I want to run over before we wrap up today. I'm going to close down Ledger Live. Uh, we no longer need it. You can use it. You have two choices now um, within MetaMask. Uh, I've just gone and closed down the Ledger Live app. You've got a couple of choices. You can use the Ledger Live app in conjunction with MetaMask, or you can actually close down the app, not use it, and simply use the device with MetaMask alone to interact with GoHex or another DAP that you want to. So in uh, here, we're gonna to go to settings. In settings, we're gonna to go to advanced. When you scroll down in advanced settings, there is a section that says, preferred ledger connection type. So I have it set to WebHID and by default, it has it set to WebHID. Ledger Live, if you choose Ledger Live, it means you wish to interact with your ledger, with Ledger Live app open with MetaMask. You can do that, it's fine. However, for simplicity, I prefer WebHID. Oh, if your Ledger Live app is open, please disconnect. Okay, so they've actually done an update. I don't think it had this initially in the first instance of this um, new iteration of MetaMask relationship with Ledger. They've worked closely together over the last few months to bring this. So WebHID um, is selected and we can simply back out of here now, uh, close back to the MetaMask. So with WebHID, um, I can simply just use the Ledger um, with MetaMask as user interface and I can now go to Matcha, Uniswap, uh, go hex uh, go.hex.com and uh, do a stake uh, I don't actually have to have the ledger uh, live software open so you have the choice um, anything else we need to cover today Papa um, other than you know what it means to start a vault wallet in the same method that we did the starting up of the standard wallet on MetaMask we should probably also sh show people what it means to go back with your second hardware device, your second discreet and unique hardware device that we um, generally uh, advise you to get, especially if you're doing a migration of this seed from MetaMask onto a hardware wallet. It's one seed for one hardware wallet. So when you get airdrops or when your stakes mature 
and you go to Liquid on this new migrated hardware wallet, you want to have a place to send them. You're not going to be building on a foundation of quicksand that is this migrated wallet. You're going to constantly be taking assets off and sending them forward to somewhere that's safer. And that somewhere that's safer is a new uh, hardware wallet that has its 24 words generated locally on the device itself. So that's the Vault Wallet. Would you like to show people what it's like to do the Vault Wallet, Ty? We, we are gonna do a setup new. So we did a migration video for Trezor. This was the migration video for Ledger. The other ones will be a lot shorter because it's just gonna be a setup new and uh, from new and then connect a MetaMask. So there's no creating a dummy MetaMask and all that stuff for creating a seed for to create a dummy like we did this time. It's just gonna be a one-time gig. All right, but- So we, you did speak but, about Vault. The, th the, th the thumbnail the thumbnail for our last video says correct set up set up new and migration correct and both thumbnails say set up new and migration but the title okay. of the video says Blah. this is a migration video um so yes the vault wallet we touched on which is a a 24 word seed phrase wallet generated from the device it never started its life on the interwebs and so when you get um assets that are liquid you're going to send them to your vault wallet when the sacrifices come out and they land in a migrated wallet if that's how you did it you're going to send them to your vault wallet same with your stakes slowly getting everything off a 12 word seed phrase wallet that started its life on the internet and right. across to a vault wallet we don't condone emergency end staking what we're saying nope. is that when your stakes mature and you Correct. end stake then you have the liquid that comes back to the migrated wallet. You then do a simple send on blockchain to the other uh, vault wallet, please. Correct. Till the next uh, installment of a security series with Papa, Papa B and Hextrovert. We'll see you soon. Ciao.